from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Uh, I've tried to avoid talking about this subject, and the reason I've tried to avoid talking about it is, well, I guess there was a practical or pragmatic reason, and that is that is this. Much as I love HBO, and I've been a subscriber to HBO since I was a teenager. I mean, I've had HBO forever. I even once worked for HBO selling subscriptions on the telephone to HBO when when they were first getting cable in New York City. I was like there selling subscriptions to HBO, getting a commission for everybody I could hoodwink into taking it. I used to work in the building where HBO uh, had uh, for many years their studios and offices, I was there. So um, as much as I like it, and as much as I have it on every TV in my house, and I've got it in HD, and I've got all, what are there, seven or nine or 11 different HBO channels, I know that uh, even the highest rated shows on HBO would not be in the top 75 shows on TV. They just wouldn't be because, you know, people have to pay to get it. And it's one of many cable channels. And, um, you know, I got, I watch a show like Entourage and uh, we talk about it here in the office all the time because we all watch it. But I've never really spent any time talking about it on the air except when we had Jerry Ferrara on the show one day who plays Turtle. We haven't really talked about it on the air because my, I'm thinking to myself, how many people are watching this show? And the audience is low. And even the the highest rated show on HBO, The Sopranos, when I've seen the audience figures on that show, it has about 5 million viewers. The low rated TV show that I love, The Office, has 10 million viewers. And that's considered one of the lower rated shows on TV. Second highest rated show on NBC, but that shows you where NBC is at. So I have uh, tried to, uh, you know, confine my conversation to off-the-air conversation. But um, the so-called final episode of The Sopranos, lots of people are talking about it. I'd love to see what the actual audience figures were, how many people actually saw this show. Because um, everybody has an opinion about the final episode of The Sopranos. And um, over the years... I've only been a sporadic viewer of The Sopranos. I saw the first couple of episodes way back when. And my attitude about The Sopranos was, I don't care how good it is. I've seen so many movies about the mafia. It's like, how much can you take? And and yet, every year, people would say how spectacular it was. And then I would sit down and watch another few episodes. And again, I haven't watched enough of it to be emotionally invested in it. But I've watched enough to know who all the characters are. And, of course, I've read enough TV reviews and columns and what have you to, to have a pretty good idea. Like, when I, I watched the final episode of The Sopranos, and I, I I feel like I knew what was going on enough to watch the show and understand. And there was so much hype for this final episode. When I say there was hype, this hype goes back, like, two years. And the reason it goes back two years is because, you know, for a, for a long time, every year at the end of the season, they would debate whether they were coming back, and then they would. But at one point, not only did they decide that the end was near, but they decided that they could stretch the last season out into two seasons. And so they took the final bulk of, I don't know what it was, 12 or 14 episodes, whatever, and split it up into two separate seasons. 
and they've dragged it out like Chinese water torture to get to the final episode. I mean, it, I, you have to be a really loyal fan of this program to hang with it because you would go sometimes 18 months without seeing a new episode. And suddenly there'd be a bunch of new ones. All right, so I've heard all the hype. The hype is everywhere. The promos are everywhere. I watch other shows on HBO, like Entourage, and they're constantly hyping The Sopranos. And I'm talking to people who are saying, don't call me Sunday night because The Sopranos is on, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, clearly I'm going to have to sit down and watch the final episode of The Sopranos. Some of you out there may have watched The Sopranos and uh, know the stories uh, as they've unfolded, the various subplots and the various characters that have come and gone on the show. Uh, some of you may have only heard about the, the hype of the final episode. Maybe, like me, uh, you watched the final episode, but you'd only seen a few episodes over the years. You were not a regular viewer. So I sat down last night, and I watched it. By the way, before The Sopranos came on, uh, there was still more hype. Like, you're already watching. How much more can you hype this? And they have some little feature show on HBO called The Buzz. And there's uh, Tom Hanks and all these other people talking about The Sopranos. <laughs> talking about saying goodbye to The Sopranos. And, oh, you fa eventually you have to say goodbye. You have to let go. Uh, just playing it up. Then, of course, you get to the actual show itself, and then they say, recently on The Sopranos, or previously on The Sopranos, and then they show all these scenes of people getting their heads blown off or whatever in previous episodes. And finally, you get to the theme music of The Sopranos, and you finally get to the show. And uh, there's been speculation in the newspapers and speculation everywhere about what would happen in the final episode of The Sopranos. And pretty much everybody was convinced that Tony Soprano was going to get his head blown off or... He was going to maybe take it out in some gruesome manner, and that would be the end of the show. And, uh, you know, if you've TV the Sopranos, turn the radio off right now, because this is all about how the show ended. And, by the way, it, it's everywhere. It's in the L.A. Times today. It's it's in every newspaper. It's It's been on radio and TV. But um, after teasing you uh, with all of these uh, techniques, which were very well done, you know, it look it, it, people continually starting cars and these long shots of cars backing out of parking spaces or pulling into parking spaces or smoke coming out of the vent of a car or whatever. There was all these things were being done. That were gonna, that you were convinced people were going to get blown up. Uh, the car was bombed, whatever. None of that app. Final scene of The Sopranos. The whole family goes out to dinner. And they sit down, and they're having just a normal dinner. And Tony Sprano says he ordered some onion rings for the table. And so you've got the family sitting there. And there's some guy who looks like he's heading to the bathroom who looks ominous. And Tony Sprano's playing all these songs. And you're trying to figure out what these songs mean or what, what why they were put into the episode. Whatever. And suddenly, uh, Tony looks up. And then the screen goes blank. And that's it. Show ends. In fact, they don't even start showing the credits or anything. The screen goes blank for like... What, what seemed like about 10 seconds. Maybe it was as much as 15 before the credits came on. So a bunch of morons out there thought that like their, their cable went out or the power went out or the, the film broke or something. I don't know what they thought. But the bottom line here, and this is my take on it, and I'm going to... Gary Zabranski has been watching The Sopranos religiously since the beginning, so I'm going to get his opinion about this. But what what <laughs> what this was, in my view... It was not the final episode of anything. This was a 60-minute long coming attraction for the Sopranos movie that they will ultimately make. This was nothing but a big trailer. This was not a final episode. It was just a big sales pitch, a big hype. You guys all got hosed. Uh, and by the way, Tony Soprano didn't have to buy the farm. He didn't have to get his head blown off or anything, but... How about he, I don't know, finds a legitimate business and goes into it and goes into it uh, basically undetected? Or how about, uh, you know, one of the family members buys the farm and the others, I don't know. I mean, they, the point is, we don't know what happened to those people. And they say it's the ending, but I say it's just a promo for a movie. And uh, Gary, you say who Well, cares, you're saying right? that because it didn't, it wasn't final to you. They used Correct. the word final. Well, it was final. You, 
it was the last episode, so therefore it was final. Yeah, it is the final but episode if they make of the a movie, If they make a movie, that's the, that's going to be the final episode of the Sopranos. See, t- today is a great day for me because I I really am relishing in the fact that people are angry about this, and I don't understand why. You just said people got hosed. Oh, and I didn't I, get hosed because I was not no, emotionally no, no, invested in the show. But you're saying that people got hosed, and I don't understand how anybody was hosed. Because they believed it was the end. The end. Well, who said the end has to be one thing? I mean, I do understand that in 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 our culture, in in pop culture, things tend to get wrapped up into nice, and especially in television, things get to get wrapped up in a nice little package at the end. And it didn't, and it's got people so fumed that I think it's hilarious. I I I don't see. What all the anger is well, about? I, I personally, I'm or, not or, 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 again. About remember, the, I'm no, not I'm angry. S- no, no, no. I'm saying that people are, and that people feel that they got hosed. Yes, and I don't understand why you feel you got hosed. I think it was a great thing. I was, I thought it was a great ending. I really do. You do? Yes, I do. Why? I, because it's not what you would expect. You everybody expected some kind of huge. You felt the the tension at the end. You were expecting something huge. And you got lights out, and nobody knows what that is. Well, then nothing happened. Yes, it did. No, nothing yes, it did. happened. Yes, it did. What happened? It, it ended brilliantly, is what no, but happened. But nothing happened. What, what is it? You, but, it but, ended by not But ending. your recommendation for something happening would be Tony getting a job in the regular sector Anything, or something. Anything. something. Uh, that, and all, by, by the way, by the way. I, I know that you've checked in a couple times during, the se- during each season, but... Yeah. Actually, a lot happened last night. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, nice little bows were were tied, but one big one wasn't. The well, it was the one everyone was waiting for. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I did understand what was going on in the show. Again, it's Sopranos is written about so much. It's like movies, uh, like Forrest Gump. Here's a movie I to this day have never seen, but it was hype so much. And so many clips were shown on the Tonight Show and every other show on TV. I feel like I've seen it. I sat down and tried to watch Forrest Gump, and every time I've tried to watch that movie, even today, I can't watch it because I feel like I've seen it ten but, times. But, but that's that's always been a point of contention between me and you because I never understood that you always thought that The Sopranos was just basically like a mob movie, and there was it was so much more than a mob movie. I, so little of it had to do actually with the mob stuff. But again, I, I understand that, right. that that it was uh, all about these. It was trying to be dark humor, and it was trying to be this whole thing. The, the plot with the shrink, and I, I that part I understand. It's just the subject matter of the mob and people getting whacked and all the lingo that goes with right. it. Uh, you know, come on, good. I, I had, by when the Sopranos started, Goodfellas was still fresh in my mind—a movie that I'd seen with people eating pasta and getting axes in their backs and stuff. It's like, how much of this can you take? There were three Godfathers, there's Goodfellas, there's all these other mob movies. So to me, the Sopranos was just more of the same. It was more of the same, even if it was brilliant, even if it was the best stuff ever involving members of the mafia. It, it, it to me, it, I wish it had come first, so I didn't see the other stuff I'd see. Because by this time, I'm just burned out on the subject matter. That's too bad because I think you missed a lot. Actually. I think I probably did. Yeah. And I, I believe you, that's why I kept coming back and trying to watch, and that's why I've seen, you know. Over the years, I think I've seen maybe 15 to 20 episodes of The Sopranos total. Uh, Spread out pretty evenly over the seven or so seasons it was on. So maybe I saw two or three per season on average. So you think that that David Chase did this um, purely for financial reasons because of this movie that's to come? No. I think that that is a big part of what happened, but I also think he thought he was having his way with the audience. He was having fun with the audience, almost in an Alfred Hitchcock kind of way. Well, I think I, I think so, too. And if you look back over the episodes this season, I mean, I, I actually was kind of disappointed, and I, and I had said that to you a couple of times uh, before last night. Um, but it, now... Now that he ended it this way, I think a lot of the stuff that he did in in the last you know eight episodes or so actually makes a lot of sense. And everybody was being taken for a ride the whole time. Everything you expected to happen didn't happen. Um, and there were all kinds of little twists and turns that led up to last night. And, yeah, I guess you were played if you think that you're owed something. And this is where I have... The issue, people think for some reason they were owed some kind of closure last night. Why? 
Why, why is the partly audience be, owed closure? Partly because of the way HBO promoted this. As closure? Well, they they never said the anything about closure. Now it's we say la- goodbye to America's It is first the last episode. Family. It is the last oh, episode God. of The Sopranos on HBO that will ever be seen that makes it final. And nothing but if they more make a should movie, be expected. If they make a movie, and, they, and you know it's going to run on HBO after it runs in theaters. Right. So then there'll be another episode on HBO. Final It'll episode of HBO. Long. You saw the final episode of The Sopranos on HBO. You saw it last night. It was the final. Final episode. We we don't even know that. They left it. It's open that they could do another special, or they could do a movie, or they could do ten movies. The series is over, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's over for now, but you know how this works. And watching television, you've seen this happen so, before. If you've got actors by the way, who are I, not finding consistent I, I work, know. and once James Gandolfini goes out of the world, we find out that he can only be seen as one character. Right. He becomes like the Jason Alexander of uh, mafia actors. Uh, and he's only seen as one character and never gets a regular job again, uh, or never is working regularly again, or whatever. You never know when they're going to have the, re- the Sopranos reunion, the Sopranos... Uh, Special, the surprise. Look back five years later at the spread. I'm telling you, absolutely. And, and you know that's true with. Then it's not the that, final that, episode. That could be true with anything, though. And, and, and in fact, the conversation we were having before we got on the air um, was that what happens in final episodes? What happened in the last episode? Let's talk about big hyped last episodes. The last episode of Mash, or like like Brett brought up before, or uh, you, you you said that uh, that the other shows didn't apply. But I mean something like Mash, where it was episodic like that. What what happened in the I, last? I, you don't even remember. I don't remember. Watch. Right. I cannot remember three episodes of Mash. To be honest with. You. I can't, and I cannot understand when they run reruns of MASH. Who's watching old reruns of MASH? I mean, do you know anybody who sits around watching MASH? It's on TV exactly. all the time. Who's watching? Exactly. But, uh, no, let's take a show. Here's one I remember. Um, the, the third Bob Newhart show. <laughs> wow, that's having to go way back. Well, no, the third one. <laughs> Right, but that's still going way back. Right, but yeah. he, 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 he wakes up one morning with Suzanne Plachette, and it turns out yeah. the whole show was a dream. Right. It was a comedy show. It was meant to be funny. It was funny. And at least it it ended it. it now, what no... happened with the ending of Gary Shandling's show? Didn't didn't that end on some kind of a open note? You mean the one called It's Gary Shandling's Show? No, the, the HBO show. The Larry Sanders Show? The Larry show? Sanders Show. I don't he, remember. Did he end up fishing on a pier or something and you didn't know what was going to happen? Something yes. like that. Yes. That was open. But they didn't. The thing is, that was not hype like the Sopranos. I, everybody felt robbed because the screen went black. Not because everything wasn't tied up. It's just that the screen went black, and for some reason, people got really pissed. I think, again, I think they got pissed because of the way this thing was promoted. Part of it was HBO. Part of it was the way everybody was writing about it and talking about it on television. Well, that's what was so great about the series. All, all these possibilities could have happened. And, you know, some things got tied up, some things didn't, but because Tony didn't get whacked or something uh, as big uh, didn't happen, everybody seems to be freaked by it. I think it was great. I really do. Now, all right, we'll take some calls. And I'm not we'll alone, by the way. There's There are articles all over the, the, the web today that you can find. There are articles on both sides right. on the web today, and there are articles in the newspaper today yep. as well. That uh, Some people think it was brilliant, and some people think uh, uh, it was uh, the highway robbery. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about this. The Sopranos final episode. Uh, I think all you big Sopranos fans got hosed. Gary doesn't think so. What do you think? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. That guy can lick my butt. Tom. That guy can lick my butt. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Right. Final episode of The Sopranos. I think you got hosed. Carlo, hello. hello. Is that a question or a statement, Carlo? Carlos? That's <laughs> because you didn't Oh, Carlos. Sorry, I, well, I'm reading it off the screen, and what Dean <laughs> typed in, it says Carlo. Oh, yeah, my name is Carlos. Yeah, I wanted to comment on the... the I used to thought it was Sopranos, so he thought it would be, uh, uh, you know, one of those... Uh, <laughs> That's an Italian bias right there. There's a little Dago there influence there, yes. <laughs> I actually, 
I'm very much like you, Tom. I've only seen a few episodes of Sopranos, so I, I too, was not emotionally invested. But I, I actually didn't even see it. I had a crazy work schedule. But I have heard about it everywhere. Um, so I know how it ends. <laughs> and I, th- I think it's great um, that it's an unconventional ending. Uh, and whether or not they make a movie at the end, I, I, I think they shouldn't. I think it should end that way. Because it basically illustrates the life of a mobster, you know. You can never have peace. So whether he gets whacked now or later or never does, he's always going to have that on his mind, you know what I mean? Like, he's always going to be looking out for people for the rest of his life. He, he can never just leave the, that life, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, but did, did, did it seem like an ending to you? Well, you didn't see it. I was going to say, no. Tom, great <laughs> review for a guy who hasn't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I basically have, just like Tom said. I mean, you don't even have to watch it. It's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Yeah, it's one of those shows where if you don't come to see it, it's coming to see you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, I, I mean, I'd love, I would love to have been watching it all, all along, but I just don't have that kind of time. But, um, yeah, I mean, as far as in a generalization, um, when, I, I agree with, uh, your, your guest. I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but, uh. That's our producer, Gary Zabransky. Mr. Gary, uh, I agree with him. Uh, yes. The U.S. audience has been very babied as far as uh, having a nice, neat little package with a beginning, middle, and an end, and a linear, a linear plot line. And I just think it's great that he he left it like that. I just think it shouldn't have been promoted as a final episode. Yeah, well, I, it's final I think episode that, for now. And yeah. they might or might not come back. There might or might not be a movie. Come on. They hyped this thing like, uh, you kidding? It was like uh, Independence Day. Like, there was going to be a nuclear war. That was going to be the end. <laughs> yeah. He had you. <laughs> um, I, mean, I mean, I think they're, they're separating the movie from the series. This is the final episode of the series. And whether the movie continues the story, it'd be its own separate creature. Well, I definitely, well, think, it's, I definitely think this was just a big trailer. Uh, for a movie. I agree with Carlos, and I think he has a future reviewing TV shows he's never seen. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, by the way, that would be a good idea for like an alternative paper to do. Re- people reviewing shows from they never watched. Heard, yeah, from what I've heard. This is heard. my opinion. Based on what I've read. Uh, Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. I just wanted to say that I actually saw some of the episodes like you. I didn't see the whole every season, every episode. I've recently caught a few of the last episodes just to kind of keep up with the hype that everyone's been going around. I have a ton of friends that all they do is watch this show and Entourage, and they just are balls deep on it. And that's all they talk about. It's all they basically live for, it seems. So I thought it was, you know, pretty funny the way it did end because it lets people use their imagination on what could have happened. Because there are previous episodes where Tony actually says to other people, like, they say that you don't know who kills you. You don't see it happen. And as soon as it goes blank, that can put into people's minds that he did get capped, but no one knows. That's a common theory, by the way. You're seeing it through his eyes. That was the whole point. The whole ending of that was because it goes straight to him where his view, and then it blacks out. Right. The blackout essentially is him getting whacked. Exactly. Bingo. Of course, that's what people say. It's just a theory. Yeah, it's just a theory. But still, I mean, that's like probably the best conclusion I could come up with and just about anyone else could, I would believe, because, I mean, it could have been anything. And the reason he probably did that was so people could use their imaginations because they are. I think they did it so they could leave it open to be a movie. I don't but, think they would actually come out with the movie because if they did, they've been talking about it for years. You could, you could have you could have done it in a variety of different ways and still left it open. I don't yeah. think that's what people are so ticked off about. I think that it's because it went black and it's never gone black before. That's why people are so freaked. I I, I know that freaks them, but I don't. Again, I think what it is is people don't feel like it ended. Ah, uh, well, I I kind of tend to think it did end because I mean. It's like the well, That's because you've imagined. That's before. because you've imagined what the ending really is. True. Even if, <laughs> even if though the ending was not explained in any way, and in fact, this is your ending. That's right. Well, it may not be the ending. That's completely true, Tom. All right. Thank you for that, Jennifer, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. 
Wonderful. I was calling because I am a, unlike the other listeners, I am a psycho about Sopranos. Watched every episode, diehard fan. And last night, I was literally throwing stuff at my TV because I felt chipped. But then I was listening to the radio this morning, and the same theory, like the last caller, um, was saying that if you looked back a couple episodes for the people who actually watched the show, um, there's a scene where he's with Bobby, one of the guys who got killed, and he's floating on the little lake, and they're talking about what it's like when you die. And Tony says this thing, and they kept flashing back to it the last few episodes on, I think when you die, I think it just turns black. It just turns black. And then, so that was one of the things that they said at the very end when he when it did go black and there was this long pause that it was him actually getting killed. Plus, one other part of it was when the other guy, um, Phil, the other head mob guy, got killed, the FBI guy freaked out and said, we're going to win this war. So it made it, it assumed that after, in the very end when Tony got, you know, popped or whatever, he didn't, that it was actually the FBI that killed him. All right, so then because you believe this, you would definitely think it was a ripoff if they tried to make a movie with Tony Soprano in it, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. And then you I mean, would not I go mean, see I it, feel right? Off already. I mean, I still feel ripped off. I mean, because it's still come on, Jennifer, get over it. Exactly what they were trying to do was have people talk about it forever and ever and ever. But, you know, I would have loved just to at least. I mean, I don't know. I guess everyone kind of wanted the whole Scarface ending with you know machine guns and you know. But even when the other head mob guy got killed, it was this really cheesy killing where he walks up to him with the gun. You don't even know the guy who killed him. And it was just bang, and that was it. There was no big build-up. There was nothing. So I don't know. For me, for me, it was kind of a letdown. But if that's true, that theory that, you know, maybe that's how he did die at the very end, and I guess it makes By the way, there were big build-ups constantly in this show. Most of them didn't pay off when you thought they were building up to something. When the SUV caught on fire and it looked like there were just fumes coming into the car. So there was, the ending was consistent then. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, yes, well, but, yes. yes, but that's We're building that's, up and not paying. But off. that's not a yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> but that's what happened throughout the episode. But uh, here's the deal: at, the, at least uh, the, with the shooting at the gas station, uh, at least uh, there was a build up because the minute the guy said, "I'm going into the gas station here and I'll be right out," you knew he couldn't leave the kid with the the, the wife with two babies in the in the car and not have something happen. Correct. Right, you knew it. Right. But then that made you feel that then the ensuing buildup would then ensuing is that the right word? Ensuing, well, ensuing the one yes. that came after that that, that uh, uh, something would pay off, but it actually doesn't. Right. right, and that whole the whole part of you know the whole last episode before this, you know, Tony's in this shade house with this humongous machine gun, and everyone's on. I mean, you're just waiting for something huge to happen, like this big blow up, and you know, and they made it pumped up like there was going to be this huge. Monster. So, what's more brilliant than just pulling the plug on it, just having yeah. it go black? I yeah. mean, I, I thought it was great. Yeah, so I don't know. But anyway, thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. I see if I had been watching all this time, I'd feel ripped. Jennifer off. wanted the money shot, and she didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. We'll take a break. We'll come back here. We're talking about the final episode of The Sopranos, or is it? Tom Hyatt. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Tom Hyatt. Answer the question. I'm trying to, but you keep doing it. Answer. At me. Don't answer the question. You're answering questions I didn't ask. I'm asking a specific question. I want an answer to that question. The Tom Likas Show. Ninety-seven point one. KLSX Free FM. Only on HBO. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, we are. Talking about the final episode of The Sopranos. Was it brilliant? Or did you guys get hosed? Yvonne on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, hey, Yvonne. I have to tell you, I love when people go, is this Tom? And you go, da 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 And they do it 18 and 20 and 30 times. And I think, they're morons. I must well, tell you. yes, yes, and uh, by the way, attention advertisers, you too can reach this prime demographic. Uh, you know, I have to tell you, you do have some intelligent listeners. You, re you really do. Um, well, every I once in a while, Dean isn't paying attention when he's screening. He lets one slip through. Yes, yes, and I, I have, I am the, you're untypical, I'm probably your Tom Likas, I tell my 21-year-old son to listen to you. 
I um, have been married for 20 years, and um, I support myself. My husband supports him. So we are we are kind of different, but everything you say is right. Now, I will tell you what I do with The Sopranos. My girlfriend and I have a single girlfriend. She's 50 F and 9, as she puts it. And we have been watching The Sopranos for six years, and it doesn't matter if it's um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas, whatever it is. I leave the house, and I go to her house, watch The Sopranos. We eat an Italian dinner, and we've been doing this for years. The last, this season sucks. It was horrible. Do you watch it? Well, I, as I have said, I watch about an episode or two every year. That's it. I, I really have not watched it more than that. Gary has been a regular viewer. Well, we have been, like, you know, Tony is, you know, we love Tony, even though he's fat and he's this and he's that. We love Tony. And we're, I'm from New York, so uh, the Jersey whole thing. But it was really bad, except for whatever that guy just said is true. They just, like, did it to all of us by just going black. And they had a, they weren't going to kill Tony because they can't do anything else. It's going to be like Dallas. He'll come back. Yvonne, what would you have liked to have seen happen? I don't, I, I'm not really following what you're saying here. Uh, you know what? I just like to shoot him up, bang, bang, all that. Yeah, but you, you, just, you just sold yourself as one of the smartest listeners that we have. And, and now you're saying you just wanted to see some shoot him up, bang, bang. Well, I didn't want to see Tony shot, bang, bang, okay? Maybe because uh, he's too, but he's too attractive in some weird way to you because he's from know, Jersey. Maybe one of his kids, maybe Carmela, maybe you know, Paulie. All right. Well, some people got whacked. Not enough. Not enough not people enough, got not whacked. Enough, not good enough. I'm with you. I thought that the the season on a whole was kind of disappointing, but I didn't think that the finale was all that bad. No, but more I whacking. Love. The she show. loves whacking. Love the show. And the first, second, third seasons were the best. Anyway, Tom, I'm on my way. I just have to tell you, I think I have to agree with you all the time. I crack up listening to you because of the people you talk to and the things that they say. 90%. Uh, that is, you do not talk to the normal American public. Unfortunately, I think I do. Give that some more thought there, Yvonne. I, I think I do. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I think all these people aren't paying attention. Uh, Tony was not waiting to get hit. He was waiting for the FBI to come in there and arrest him because the movie is going to be the trial, and the trial is going to be there to recap the show for all the people that didn't follow it. And also the trial is going to be there to show that the justice system takes care of criminals rather than criminals taking care of each other because... Uh, if, if a hitman w went into the restaurant, he would have had his own bodyguards in the restaurant. That hitman would have not made it out of the parking lot. So there's no way a hitman's going to go in that restaurant and hit him. It, he, he's waiting for the FBI to walk in the door and arrest him because the last few scenes of the show, it, it's all about getting ready for a trial. Look and how he, invested he is. See, Tony knows something that I don't know. I don't... A, when, when the FBI guy was celebrating, the reason why he was celebrating is because they got more evidence against him. He wasn't celebrating because that guy got killed at the gas station. He was celebrating because now they got more evidence against Tony. Yeah. And they got and and they also got that guy's partner who's gonna who's gonna go witness protection on him. I think generally I'm too high or too drunk to get into it at the <laughs> level that Tony that Tony gets into it. Uh, I just kind of enjoy the show. Uh, I think the opening scene of the movie should either be he's he's eating uh, onion rings in prison, or or right, or right. or he, he he's in the, he's in the visitor waiting room and, and and he's waiting for his daughter to come and visit him in in the prison. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Tony. Let's get Jonathan in here on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, father. How do you do it? Doing okay, son. Great. Hey, um, I love your show. Listen to it all the time. First time caller. I'm um, calling in about The Sopranos. I'm an avid watcher for The Sopranos. We watch it all the time. TV voter, whatnot. And I loved the ending. I mean, I thought it was great. I don't need a whole lot of closure. The only thing that they could come up with on a movie, as far as I can see, is him going to trial. And if I want to see that, I'll watch Law and Order. I mean, really? I think it was a great ending. I mean, everything got tied up as far as I'm concerned. I mean, their other crime family, the head of that, got whacked. And Tony's sitting there and he's hanging out, having dinner with his family like he liked to do on Sundays when he, when they were growing up. 
I think it's a. I think it was a great ending. I agree with Gary. I don't. I don't. If they went, if they did a movie, I couldn't see watching it. I wouldn't go see. So it. you, if they did a movie, you would feel then you would feel host. Yeah, exactly. If they if they came back with some episode in two years or came out with a movie in six months, yeah, I feel like they were that I got robbed. I mean, absolutely got robbed. And I'd have to burn all my CD, all my DVDs. I'm sure you'll go see it, Jonathan. Nah, I, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with the way it ended. I really am. Right on. I think it went great. I agree right. with you, Gary. I think it's. I think it's good. Way to be. All right, Jonathan. Thank you for that, Adrian, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey there, Tom and Gary. Pleasure. What's up? Uh, first thing I want to just comment about the movie theme. I don't. I don't see a movie happening only because a movie would be would. Ha I mean, it would be so different. Uh, you know, the the flow of a, that a movie, a two-hour movie, would have to be. I just don't see it as it wouldn't fit in with the Sopranos development as it's been. I mean, a, a two-hour movie would essentially have to be two episodes to make sense. Uh, otherwise, I just don't see it. But uh, the reason I was really calling was that I wanted to comment on the ending. I see it. The, I, I kind of am in agreement with the whole, like, uh, getting whacked theme, but I don't see it as Tony getting whacked so much as the audience getting whacked. Uh, we, you know, we're, that's, we're experiencing everything going to black, whereas it seems like the Sopranos family is kind of living on. Why would you think that the audience would get whacked and, and not well, the family? Well, I mean, well, I just see it, you know, it seems like things were going on, and then all of a sudden it goes Have you seen what HBO costs these days? <laughs> It goes well, after that uh, John of Cincinnati, I feel whacked. Oh, but yes. God. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm out. Thanks no. a lot, guys. All right, Adrian. No, I mean, I, I kind of understand what he says. And a lot of people are saying that uh, kind of like from the audience perspective, you get whacked and uh, essentially your experience is over. But uh, there are all kinds of wacky theories. Carla on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Another one of these. I didn't know you were talking to me. I call you lose. You yeah. snooze, you lose. Is that a cow in there? What is it? <laughs> Tony on the Tom Likas. All these Tonys calling you this hour on the Tom Likas show. Hello. I feel like I've been wagged. Hey, Tom. How's it going? All right. I am so glad this damn thing is over. Seven years ago, I used to just be Tony. But now it's, hey, Tone. How's it going, Tone? Pisses me off. <laughs> I, I'm, I, you know, I, have, I happen to be Italian. I happen to work at a bank, and everybody keeps saying, oh, are you going to come make me an offer I can't refuse, or all this stupid <laughs> stuff. Is it actually, sure is it Anthony, or is it Tony? It's Tony. Oh, okay. You know, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's frustrated me. Knowing my luck, as soon as people have gotten over it, they're going to make the damn movie. By the way, I don't think and it's, it's time that the Italians are going to rise up or anything. It's, <laughs> if you and Dean are waiting for your day, I think you're going to wait a little longer. But, hey, Tom, can you take me out Kobe style with a biatch? I'll take out Kobe style, Tony. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Uh, uh, Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Jeff on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, I uh, just want to say great show. Uh, great great caller so far. Thank it's you. been interesting. You're welcome. By the uh, way, does everybody who uh, watches The Sopranos, get... does everybody who watches The Sopranos say, Hey, hey. Mm, no. Hey. I, I'd say no. I oh. think to people all over the just place. Just you. Watch. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't hey. know. But, um. I got a view on how it was just an ingenious way on how they ended it for all the loyal fans been watching over the years compared to some of the people that just watched it because I want to watch the final show and I want to see some killing. They ended it just like they always have. You know, they got Phil from the Brooklyn crew. He made it, he made hits that he didn't have permission to. So they went and took care of him when a sit down, got permission. Took care of it. Tony was happy. He can move his family back to his house. And then the way they ended it, to leave all that buzz about what did happen. Did he get popped? Did he, did, did he get arrested? We already know. You crazy. sound pretty satisfied. I wish we had more time, Jeff. But we don't. Now we're going to black right now. It's the Tom Likas Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1.